Welcome back to Bits Be Trippin'. This is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. Now, this is going to be some more Ravencoin Kapow algorithm results when testing a GTX 1060 and a GTX 1070 Ti. Now, both of these are from Zotac. One is a kind of a base mini six gig card, and then the other one is the Zotac Amped Extreme on the 1070 Ti standpoint. Here's some of the most efficient numbers that I was able to get out of this algorithm. Hopefully, this gives you a good baseline to start when this goes live on May 6th. So Ravencoin test that this is the Kapow algorithm, which is the prog proof of work algorithm plus uh, some other some other settings for Ravencoin. That is using 9.01 and full system is 106. That's actually 105.7. 12 volt rail, close up. That is the riser power, 27.1 and 49.5. Yeah, it's the Amped Extreme Edition 2070 Ti. 13.22 on Ravencoin's base here. So 13.22 mega hash. So we're at 220, 220 watts. 220 watts you can see on the main meter right over here. We're at 50, 53 watts there on the riser. The riser's getting its ass kicked right now. And there is the 12 volt rel. It's pulling 114 for a total GPU wattage of 170. Ooh, 16, look at that, bros. Full system, before was 220. We're at 173. So we're at 42.6 on the riser. Not 53, we knocked off 10 watts coming off the riser by just dropping the power limit by a little bit. And we're at 90.8 watts from 116. So the total GPU watts at 100% power limit is 135. And we're roughly around 16. So let me slow, say that real slow with people that were concerned about power on, the, on prog pow, our cup pow. Is what we're seeing here is we increased the core clock by 50. So 50 megahertz on the core clock went up. The memory also, which was baselined at zero increase, went to 800, because that's really what we'd be running with Ethereum. So that's 800 megahertz increase to the memory. So 50 plus 50 plus 800 at an 80% power limit. And we went down from 220 full system to 173, and we went from a GPU power usage of 169 to 135, and went up by three full mega hash on Kapow. Subtle adjustments and testing like this helps us establish that you don't need to run it at full tilt. You can still get more mega hash for less power usage just by doing a few little bit of tweaks. You know, this is the scientific method, my dudes. All right, guys, that should get you tucked away on at least the GTX 1060 and 1070 series. Obviously, your results may vary a little bit, but by and large, this is the numbers and the settings that you can use to really reduce the power and get the most out of your cards. As always, like, subscribe, follow, and get this thing shared out for you folks that are going to be mining Ravencoin.